Hey, Rob here doing a response or review Taylor Swift to appear on the X Factor 2012 series. Really, really enjoy Taylor Swift because my daughter enjoys her, and I'm glad my daughter has just a good, clean role model for young girls and young women all across the globe. And I'm seeing a resurgence, Taylor Swift, and all the young people that are starting to keep their lives pure and righteous before God. They're not selling out to the immorality, the sex in life. She's just absolutely a class act. And I believe we're seeing a resurgence of that. And I believe the hand that God's on Taylor Swift. And if you think she is a good, clean, solid role model for young women all over the world, hit the like button. Give me a comment. And you know, God has a special plan for Taylor Swift. We'll certainly see it to begin to unfold over the next several decades, obviously. And God not only has a plan for her, she, he, God has a plan for everybody under the sound of my voice. And how do I get from Taylor Swift, clean role model, to God has a plan for life? I'm the minister of the gospel. Friends, decide to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Go for it. Hit the subscribe button right now. And also under the search, Rob would want to have many other ministry videos where I expound, talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc., Really, the first plan God has for everybody is he desires to be in the center of their life. But the only way he can have that plan fulfilled is you have to invite him into your heart because the Lord will never crash or knock the door down in your heart. God didn't create robots. God gave us all a free will so you can accept him due to obedience. You can reject him due to disobedience. But one thing I promise you is this. Once you open the door of your heart just to crack, the Lord will come in with His great grace, mercy, compassion, kindness, most of all His unconditional, irrevocable love. In fact, in the Bible, in the book of John, 3rd chapter, 16th verse in the New Testament, simply states, For God so loved the world that He gave as a gift, that if you would believe and accept Jesus, you would not perish, but you'd have everlasting and eternal life in that God desires no one to perish under the sound of my voice, but he wants all to have the insurance that when we all take our last breath, we can and we will make heaven our home. But the only way he can have that, or we can have that uh, assurance is by having Christ in our heart and our life surrendered and submitted to him. If you desire to recite a simple prayer after me, say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. If you prayed that prayer in the comments section, just say, I prayed the prayer. I want to pray for you. Obviously, I'll never be able to do it on an individual basis, but there's no distance to prayer. I will pray for you. Friends, the Lord loves you. God has a mighty plan for your life. If you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel, go for it. And again, on the Rob Wood one, I have many other ministry videos. Be blessed.